today we are uh, unopening my naughty knickers. These, I believe, these are thirteen dollars plus. You know, I think it's like altogether thirteen dollars. I'm not sure, and I will leave the website down in my description box. And this is a um, monthly, and it comes, I believe, with three pairs of panties. No one loves drawers like I love drawers. I know that's so crazy. And so I'm going to show you what we got. Okay, so it is three box, three bags, three bags. They're all singly packed, and I get a size small. And they come in this paper thing was eco-friendly. I think that's pretty cool. Look how like it's darker and brighter. This is so weird. Anyway, so let's start off with the first ones. Right, let me get my scissors here. Oh, I love these. And I get the mixed variations. I get uh, sugar and spice, which is like a little bit of everything. Ooh, and I love them already. See, I just put me on some fresh stuff. Oh, I wish I would have waited. <laughs> these are so cute. And they're not pink. They're peach. I like that. Oh, perfect summer draws. I swear to God. I love these. These are really, really nice looking stretchy okay no insert for that that area right there yeah. really nice um what i really appreciate about this brand is that they come a little early so um i have a chance to upload them right on time get naughty hashtag okay so the next one oh, these are pretty so, oh i love these check those out Aren't those just so darling? Oh my gosh. See, this is what I like. These are the kind of granny panties I like. Look, oh my gosh. There's the back. See, so it's kind of like a little cheeky and you see something because it's still see-through. And I like the, the color, color choice. And this doesn't have an opening either, which doesn't matter to me as long as this part is cotton. Um, you know, so. Oh, I love it. Oh, these are so pretty. These are great. I love these subscriptions. Like, I get this and I get Splendies. And I, I haven't had one time that I'm disappointed. Not one time. They get my sizing right. Um, customer service is always great. Like, if the sizing is wrong. Because I used to get a medium. Um, but I felt like they would sag, like, a little bit. Like, in the inner leg area like you know the moo moo area um so anyways here's the third pair these are cute okay at first you don't think much of it you know kind of like a dull color i like the color though so there's the front so let's cut the lace and the back is the cute part i like that that's cute you know, I don't like it when my drawers pop out in the back, like when I bend over. Because I do wear high waist. Let me tell you something about these high waist pants, right? I was so happy when high waist pants came out because I got a little muffin top. I can be as skinny as skinny can be. I have a muffin top. There's, you know, I can, can't get it away. And um, so when the high rise jeans came in style, I was like, ooh, it hides everything, makes everything look perfectly shaped. But they still slide down. I'm like, unless you like tighten your ass to death with a belt. Um, and so, you know, the, the panties in the bag don't pop out. But, you know, when the high rise pants still fall, they like slowly slide down. You look like you have like a SpongeBob ass. And then this pops out. It really makes you look tacky as fuck, right? So, but if they do happen to pop out. <laughs> Then I like these. Because, you know, I do try on, like, most of my pants when I buy them. And I'm always like, oh, yeah, these are going to work. These are going to work. But after a couple of hours of wearing them is when you notice, are they going to sit in the same spot or not, you know? So I really appreciate when there's a pretty decoration like that. At least, you know, if there's something showing, it's something cute, you know? But I would prefer, I like these kinds. I just do. Especially, like, with shorts. You know, I just, I don't know. Especially they're see-through and they look really comfortable. So all these have the cotton mids, which I really appreciate. Which ones were your favorites? Do you guys get naughty knickers? And if you do, did you get the same kind? Because I haven't seen anybody from my friends yet who have gotten them. 
But um, Splendies is a little variation. Like some people have some I had gotten a few months ago, or I'll get some they've had to have gotten a few months ago. You know, when I go on their Facebook web page and stuff like that, kind of compare. But um, I'm really happy with this month. And, um, you know, back in the days when you wanted to find something really pretty and you went to Victoria's Secrets and you paid 20 bucks for a pair of underwear. And it's like, oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. 20 bucks for, you know. And women need a lot of draws, right? Because, you know, things happen. Um, the City Trends used to have the best pairs or uh, Maxways or Roses. You could go in there and they would have a whole bin of the cutest stuff, just like these, for a dollar a piece. But, you know, they kind of went away with that. And so now you can only get, like, the straight cotton, like the all-around cotton, which to me is not... I don't know. I feel like it's too thick on the skin. I like stuff like this, you know? So, um, I'm really happy about these this month. So, anyways, thanks for watching me pack out my drawers, and I'll see y'all in the next one.